Hello guys, Knuckles Up or Michael here, and today I am back with another episode of Overwatch Heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very excited to bring you guys this one. We are playing as Mei. Mei is, I would say, the trolliest character in the game without a doubt in my mind, and she's actually really fun to play as, so I can't wait to get into this. By the way, May is my favorite Donald Trump meme, if you haven't noticed. China! 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 We're going to build the wall, okay? Believe me. Okay, so basically, guys, May has a, a couple of really good defensive attacks. First of all, she has this one, which is a big ice wall. It basically is the best thing for blocking off enemies from any objective point, because it takes a lot of damage to actually kill it, and it's actually quite good. The other thing she has, her LB, is really, really, really sharp, and it's basically, um... It's like if you're ever in a bad situation, you can just LB and you'll be in out of danger really quick. I'll show you a good example when I get to that point. Oh shit, yep. Fuck. Yeah, okay, I was gonna die there anyway, but you know what? <laughs> it's okay. I saw a Bastion and I also saw a Tracer. I was like, I don't wanna deal with that, but you know what? It's okay. Can I just say that out of every single first person shooter game I've ever played in my entire life, May has the worst reload animation on her gun. This is the most boring. What? Oh, you pansy, you fucking cock muncher. You're sitting up there on the roof thinking you're pot shit. Fuck you. Back to what I was saying earlier. So basically, guys, Tracer. Tracer. May has the lamest reload animation in any video game I've ever seen. Look at this. Look at this. She slightly turns her nozzle to the right. Like, how boring is that, honestly? That's so boring, man. Oh, what? Double Really? Okay, at least I got a kill out of that. Oh, I got two, actually. That's good. But what? Just so if anyone tries to flank, we're good. I can cover my back here. <gasps> Fuck. Get out of the way. Yep, we're good. See, guys, this is this move right here is a lifesaver. <laughs> Roasted. It's actually a lifesaver. I'm not even kidding. It's such a good move. Come back. Come back. Come back. Nice, that's what I like to see. Ah, gotcha, Tobiorn. Nice fucking try, you fucking wanker. You fucking cock. Little cock muncher, you. Oh my god, of course. I hate Bastion and I ruined my ultimate. Look at my ultimate, it's gone. Because of that little fuckboy right there. God, this is... I can't stand Bastion more than anything in the world. I'm just trying to record a good game for you guys. For you guys. I'm exclusively getting killed by Bastion. But... Come on. Aw, oh, you fucking ass. You fucking arse. Gotta try to. Roasted. No! No! I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna quit this game. I'm gonna quit this game. You over there on the other team. XX Cryptic King, or whatever the fuck your name is. Grow a pair of balls, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, you all know why I hate Bastion now. I never play a character that can counter it. Never. So it's like, what am I gonna do if you're just sitting in a corner? No, take that, bitch. 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 Hello. Let's use that. Let's go. Nice try. Let's go. Triple. Triple kill. Let's go. Quad, let's go. Oh my, if there's a Bastion there, I quit. <gasps> there is. No! It's okay, we killed the Bastion, it's fine. As long as we kill the Bastion, rip Bastion. I don't care if I die, as long as the Bastion dies, I'm fine. Let's go. May I love you. Let's go. Okay, guys. Should we be an ultimate troll? Should we be a troll? Because I've, I've expressed my opinion on how trolly May is in the intro and the previous video. So, I think, I think we should be a troll just to let you guys know what you're dealing with here. Too many of one here. Too many builders. No tank heroes. No support. Well, this is going to be fun now, isn't it, guys? Because three idiots are deciding to play as the same character. One as the biggest pussy in the game. Another as an actual skillful player. I'm going to watch this fuck all you. 
Fuck all you. <gasps> Back the fuck up. Nice. Come on, come on. Let's go. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel bad. I feel really bad. What? Did you guys just see that? Go! Come on. Nice drive. Shit. Let's go. No one's there. No one's there. Suck it. Let. I can't believe we won that. All right, guys. Now's the time of the video where I give my opinion on May. First and foremost, her ultimate is incredible. If you throw that in any objective, it is sure to get you at least two or three kills minimum. You throw that blizzard in, it freezes a shit ton of people, and then after that, you get free kills by using your LT or L2, depending on what console you're playing on. You use your little ice shard shooter, and then you get free headshot kills, basically. So you're guaranteed at least two or three kills, and it's so helpful for your team if you're playing an objective game mode, like if you're escorting a payload and you freeze everyone right before they can get to it guys it is an amazing ultimate another thing that i really like about may is the fact that she has basically one shot headshots what i mean by this is if you freeze someone with may's uh primary gun ability what happens is you basically have a free two seconds on them to do whatever you want normally in that time what you'll do is you'll bust out your lt and you will shoot them directly in the head on almost i'd say every single one of the attacking characters along with some defensive and all of the uh healers Basically, it's a guaranteed kill if you can get them frozen. The tanks, it's a little bit iffy just because they have a lot more health than all the other classes. But all the other classes are essentially doomed if you get them in your line of sight. Another thing that I love about Mei is her Cryo Freeze and her Ice Vault. These are both her own unique special abilities, and these are just amazing god tier abilities. First of all, you have the Ice Wall. The Ice Wall is incredible. This is used for almost any situation you can possibly think of, and it'll work well to your advantage. A great example is one game I was facing a junk rat, and he had his ultimate tire or whatever it's called, and he was barreling at me at full speed, and I was able to actually build the ice wall, and he detonated his tire into the ice wall, so it didn't actually kill me at all, it didn't do any damage whatsoever, and I prevented my teammates from getting killed too, because I blocked someone else's ultimate. The ice wall is used in many different situations, and it's phenomenal. A good example of when I used the ice wall is in one game I played, where we were losing very, very badly, and the payload was right about to escort to their base, and we had 2 minutes and 30 seconds left in the game, and we were able to hold them off for that entire time. The best strategy we used on that particular game was that I kept building ice walls at a choke point, leading all of the enemy players into a path of a Tobjorn's turret. This was an amazing strategy and it actually got us the game, so I'm very happy about that, and her ice wall is a force to be reckoned with. Her other, her other ability, the Cryo Freeze, is insanely good. And if you're in any bad situation whatsoever, you pop that thing and you have 5 seconds for breathing room. You have 5 seconds where you can see the enemies reloading and you take advantage of that by going and killing them. You have 5 seconds to yourself before you run away for help. It is a great ability. Usually a teammate comes and helps you out during that time while you're in this freeze mode. And I think it's great because you don't take any damage. You just have a second to kind of relapse, rethink your next move, and go from there. And they, she just has amazing abilities. Now I get into the part where I tell you what I don't like. 
There are only two things about Mei that I actually don't like, believe it or not. The first is that Mei is a huge troller, and depending on how you look at this, this could be a good thing or a bad thing. For for me, for the most part, this is a pretty bad thing. Mei is hands down the most trolly character in the game. What I mean by this is just because of her ice wall ability. She is so annoying if you have to face her in another lobby. If you're on the enemy team, she is so incredibly annoying. And even if you're on the same team as a Mei, she can be a dick if she wants to. If the person can controlling her decides to build an ice wall and she just blocks your entire team while she runs away freely that's incredibly annoying and she can do that she has the power to do that if she wants to so you're basically left in the hands of either someone who's good with me or someone who's using it just to troll and that could be a huge problem if you're playing in quick play the final thing about Mei that I don't like, and this is more of a definite thing as opposed to a 50-50 whether you like it or not with the trolling, is her guns. And I love her guns, don't get me wrong. The only problem is that her guns are projectile guns, meaning that it's a lot harder to hit. In FPS games, there are two types of shots. There are hit scans and there are projectiles. Projectiles, for good examples in Overwatch, are Farah, are Mei with her ice shards, are... Anyone who fires a kind of a launcher type of things, like Junkrat, for example, and hit scans are basically guns. So you pull the trigger and it'll immediately hit someone that it goes to. For example, Soldier 76, Widowmaker, and Bastion. These are all very different weapons and they can come in a variety of shapes and sizes and forms. And I would take hit scans any day over projectiles. And the reason why I say this is because hit scans are immediate, they are definite, they are for sure. When as projectiles are much more risky because you have to get people to kind of move the way you want them to. May is, it's kind of hard to use her guns at first. And the reason why is because the original ice gun, the one that freezes people, you have to be in a direct line of sight in order to freeze them. You can't be kind of moving it around very much and you have to be at close quarters. So it's kind of hard to use it at first. Her Ice Shard weapon is a lot harder to use, although it is very, very good and deals a lot of damage, it is very hard to use unless you're at point blank range. I was trying to shoot a Widowmaker from a far distance away at one point because she was distracted, and I was able to get two hit markers, but I fired maybe six shots, and it's just very hard to use the Ice Shard just because of the projectile weapon. All in all, I really enjoyed playing with Mei, and she definitely surprised me. I honestly thought, guys, I, I like Tobjorn, I really underestimated her power, and I'm very impressed with what she did. Overall, I'm going to give Mei a 9 out of 10 stars, meaning that so far in the series, Mei takes my top spot as the best character in Overwatch, Tobjorn goes to second, and the rest will come sooner or later. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Overwatch Heroes. If you did, please leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.